X-rays are a form of electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength that is much, much smaller than that of visible light. They are created in an X-ray tube, which is basically a vacuum inside a glass container that holds a cathode on one side and an anode that is typically made out of tungsten on the other side. When a high voltage is applied between the cathode and the anode, electrons are accelerated from the cathode to the anode and hit the anode at a very, very high speed. As the electron interacts with atoms of the tungsten anode, it will then lose its energy. Most of this will dissipate as heat, so the anode has to be well cooled, but a small portion of this energy will be converted to X-rays. Now with the voltages that are typical for medical CT systems, you will have two types of electron to X-ray conversion, bremsstrahlung and characteristic radiation. Bremsstrahlung occurs when the electron slows down as it passes close to the center of the tungsten atom. The loss of energy is then converted to an X-ray photon. And depending on the distance to the atom nucleus, this X-ray photon will then have a different energy, resulting in an X-ray spectrum that is for example spread out between 10 to 120 keV. With characteristic radiation, the electron collides with an electron on the inner shell of the tungsten atom and kicks it out of its orbit. An electron on the outer shell then takes its place, emitting an X-ray photon in the process. Its energy depends on the difference in binding energy of these two shells, resulting in two typical peaks in the X-ray spectrum.